everybody, I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV. Our dealership is in Round Rock, Texas, just outside Austin. And today I'm going to show you the Intec Luna Light. What a great little trailer. The MSRP is around 18, 18, 5. Uh, so always check with your dealership to find out what the sale price is. It weighs about 1,660 pounds, a 200 pound tongue weight. You're looking at about um, six foot 10 inches tall, 15 and a half feet long, sleeps too. If that's within the parameters of what you're looking for, stay tuned and I'm gonna show you around. Hi, I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV, and I'm going to show you around this Luna Light by Intec. Before we get started, let me remind you that if you want to see more walkthrough videos, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we always love your comments. All right, so let's get started here. The interior of this is the first thing I notice when I come in because I love the vinyl gray interior walls. Now. It's very similar to the Luna Rover. The difference, one of the differences inside is going to be that this one has curtains. The Luna Rover actually has a shade that pulls down here. This one has curtains on the front and the sides. Uh, on the back, it's going to be identical. You've got the air conditioner on the bottom. This is an 8,000 BTU air conditioner. So it's going to cool this down extremely quickly. The nice Jensen uh, stereo system, Bluetooth enabled, of course, CD, DVD player. You've got speakers on the interior. And then the second set of speakers is actually outside in the kitchen. So you can play one or the other, or of course, both. The netting gives you places to hold more gear got two pieces of netting across the front. This is the converter. Now the converter, as you know, probably is where it converts the 120 coming in to the 12 volt. It also trickle charges your batteries and in here is your breakers and fuses. So in this Luna, everything is very accessible. The carbon monoxide detector is next to it. So you can always see that that light is green and it's working. It actually is powered by the 12 volt battery. There's a 32 inch TV. This is a 12 volt television. So it runs off your battery as well. Wonderful light ceiling. I don't know if you can see that a little tough to see, but you've got the uh, 12 volt power fan up there. When these windows are open, that can create a very nice breeze inside here. Now we didn't talk about this. These windows actually slide open and down again so that once you pull this window up, you've got a nice half breeze, half the window can create a breeze. The mats that I'm sitting on, there's two mats and they sit side by side. Right now we have them doubled up. Uh, you can do it either way, of course. They're gonna be 29 inches wide, 78 inches long. So just an inch or two on each side short of a queen size bed. If you lay them out sideways, uh, a queen size bed is 60 by 80. And of course the 29 and 29, you're gonna be 58 inches wide, 78 inches long. You've got a little space here so that you've, your air conditioner has room to breathe and a, a little space over there as well. So very comfortable, very open interior. Uh, this is about four foot six inches tall. So a lot of head space in here gives you that open area. Let's take a look at the front of the trailer. So at the front, you'll notice it looks very much like the other Lunas. There are some differences. Uh, it, the seating on this side and on the other side does not have the cushion on it. The original Luna had a cushion, so the Luna Light and the Luna Rover do not. You've got the nice black Formica on the seating and on the table area in the middle with uh, cup holders on both sides. The tempered glass 
window, which is kind of the signature of the Luna series, is exactly the same. It uh, gives you a beautiful wide view. The curtains are a little different. You have curtains in the um, Luna Light. The Luna Rover and the regular Luna have a pull-down shade. Let's see, what else can I tell you about the front? There is storage underneath the seating right here. If you can get a picture of that. There is two storage bins on the floor underneath each mattress. And we'll talk about those when we step outside. I'll show you inside. Um, the other thing, I know I'm five feet tall, so it's a little difficult for people to, to gauge the height of these. So let me give you some dimensions because I know some of you will ask. This is 13 inches tall from the ground and I measured from the center of the seat up to the ceiling and that's 40 inches. So hopefully that will help you if you're trying to figure out if you would be comfortable here. There's doors on both sides, lots of windows, plenty of headspace in here. So what a great interior this is on the Luna Light. Um, let's take a look at the exterior. All right, so just inside, underneath both mattresses are two bins right next to each other. And if you lift them up, there's an ABS storage bin in there. It's about four inches deep and it gives you plenty of space to store some gear. I love the ABS because if it gets wet or dirty, you just wipe it out and you're ready to go again for your next trip. So on the passenger side of the Luna Light, the first thing I notice is that, that they use a metal door holder. You open it up, it slips right over that piece and you just push down on the top to release it and open it up. The plastic ones deteriorate, they break. This is going to give you a nice solid door holder on the outside. Window in the door coming forward. This is the LED porch light. There's a switch on the inside. Down here the metal aluminum black fender. Now you'll remember that on the regular Luna, it has a fiberglass molded piece. It's kind of stylized. The Luna light is meant to be light, simple, very affordable. And you've got the uh, a black powder coated aluminum fender on it. Little light on the top here. This is going to be your water ports. There is an eight gallon fresh water tank, so you would fill your water tank here. Next to that is the uh, city water fill. So if you're at a hydrant, that's where you would hook up your water hose with your water pressure regulator, right? So let's go around and take a look at the kitchen of this unit. So every Luna in the series has a rear kitchen. The Luna Light and the Luna Rover are identical. I love this shelf up here for storage. It's got the great net, so anything you put up there is going to stay in place. You can see it's got a LED strip above it with the blue lights on it. It makes it really great at night. Uh, the speakers here that we talked about on the inside from the stereo, so you've got two speakers on the back. I love this brushed aluminum look on this uh, back wall. Two burner stove with the sparker on it. It also has the fold down glass top. So when this is closed, if you're not using the stove, it makes for a great countertop. Below that stove, the tip out has a little bit of storage right there. It's a nice size aluminum sink with the brushed aluminum uh, curved faucet, single handle faucet. It's very nice for large pots, putting a big glass in there, maybe a big uh, thermos. Very easy to work with. Let's look underneath. Now this is gonna be your drain for the sink. It does go out and there is a port where you could put a hose or put a bucket under it or have a container that catches your uh, gray water. The battery is stored under here as well. Nice little storage bin up top. Now these switches here, one is gonna be the water pump. The others are the lighting. You've got the lighting above our heads here, and then you've got the lighting on the shelf. 
So this first one, I don't know if we've shown you that, but this light right above me is an LED light that's on the hatch. So it lights up this kitchen beautifully at night so you can see to cook and do whatever you need to do over here. There is a 110 plug on the side, black formica top. Now let's talk about this refrigerator. This is a cooler by Coleman. Let's take a peek at it. This is the standard feature. It opens on this side. It is a small 12 volt cooler. You can hear the fan running on it. Now this is the standard, but there is an option for the Dometic refrigerator. It also runs on 12 volt, but you can actually make it a freezer if you want. It's much better insulated, bigger refrigerator freezer unit. That is the only option on this Luna Light. Everything else that I'm gonna show you is standard. It locks into place when it's out, and then when you wanna push it in, you give this a little tug, and it slides in and locks in. Okay, now we're gonna show you underneath this trailer because there's a lot to see there. So underneath this Luna Light, there's a 15 inch spare tire. And next to that, you will see the drain for the sink. It's actually threaded so you could put a hose on there and drain it into another container or you could simply put a bucket under it. The battery vent is to the left of that, and then the low point drain behind that if you are draining your water tank directly. I love to look under here and see the beautiful welded frame. Of course, this trailer is a cage welded frame, uh, which makes it so solid, so durable, and the Dexter torsion axle with the electric brakes. In the rear, there's the crank down stabilizer jacks, making it very stable. And last but certainly not least is gonna be your tube at the back for a tray that you wanted to add on the back if you wanted to carry more gear or maybe even a bicycle rack or something like that. If you're stopping in to look at a Luna light, be sure to look underneath. Let's take a look at the other side. So the driver's side of this Luna light has the red bullet light in the corner, and right next to that, the solar panel plug-in. So there's a couple of companies that make wonderful suitcases that have solar panels that fold out. You can put them in the sun, park in the shade, and just plug them in right here, and it's gonna charge your battery. What a great feature. They also have a piece that if you add to that plug, it's got clips on it, and you can clip it to any battery at home if you wanted to charge something there. So it's great for at home and for camping. Next to that, if you're at a, a campground that has a cable TV hookup, then you can use the connection to simply connect to their cable TV. Up here, your 30 amp cord plugs into the side and has a collar that tightens up so it keeps it nice and snug. The vent for your electronics is right above that. Again, the very sturdy black aluminum fender well with the 15 inch tires underneath, the aluminum wheels, your nice window that slides up here to open for beautiful breeze coming in and the LED porch light above it. Now, we're gonna take a look at the front of this trailer. When you're looking at the front of any Luna, the first thing you notice is the tempered windshield going all the way across. It creates such a great uh, style on the outside, and of course we've seen from the inside what a great view you get. It's surrounded by a molded fiberglass cap, very sturdy, I love the high gloss. Beehive lights in the corner, LED lights on the top, triple tube aluminum frame underneath. Let me tell you about this jack it's important to note that you don't do a lot of cranking with this. All you do is hook it up to your vehicle, crank this up a few inches, and then it just swivels so that it goes along the side of the tube frame. Behind this panel right here is the LP tank. You have a 20-pound, 5-gallon LP tank in there. 
And the way you access it is you pull these handles right there, and then this panel comes out. Now, you don't have to remove it completely in order to turn your propane on and off, but I like to pull it off so you can get a better shot of it and see how it works under there. So to put it back on, you slide this in, put it over those little bumpers right there that hold it tight, and you have to line up these handles and push them in, give them a little push, and then clip these handles down. And that clips it right back into place. Gives you that beautiful flush look on the front. So again, I'm PJ. Here at Princess Craft RV, our dealership is in Round Rock, Texas. And give us a call. We'll be glad to answer any more questions on the Luna series. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.